I am meteorologist Adam Clayton here bringing you a weather update for this December 24th, uh, Christmas Eve out there and we have a lot to talk about today with a huge bomb cyclone that is affecting the eastern United States and another storm system that's coming on shore, the western United States. So I'm going to get right to it here in a couple minutes. But first of all, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button or give me a like. Also, I really appreciate everyone's comments in the video. I try to go through all of them and respond uh, to them. I really appreciate it and I, and I appreciate any kind words. And please let me know if I left something out that you want to see or any other pieces of advice you want to give. So we'll start by looking here at this satellite. Of course, we have that bomb cyclone there sitting in southern Canada, which continues to bring a lot of lake effect snow to the Great Lakes region and some very cold temperatures uh, into the eastern United States. And then that other storm system coming on shore, the western United States. So it still is quite the busy weather day out there. Now, looking at this cyclone, it is just so impressive to watch it on satellite here. Just watching it wrap up here the past 24 hours and just intensify so much. Such an impressive storm system and you can see far reaching. I mean, uh, taking moisture all the way down there from uh, like the Caribbean Sea and then taking, of course, cold air all the way from pretty much originated from the North Pole all the way down into the eastern United States. Now this is what is called a bomb cyclone and you might be wondering you know what exactly does that mean? You've probably seen that uh, in that term in the media a little bit. Well it's pretty, sim uh, it's pretty simple. A bomb cyclone is, is basically a cyclone that rapidly intensifies and so the way that we uh, the way that we measure how strong a low pressure system is is how low uh, the pressure is at the center of the storm. So the lower the pressure, uh, the stronger the storm actually is. And it's actually uh, talking about low pressure. A low pressure system is actually displacing air vertically away uh, from uh, where, it's, uh, where it's originated. And that leads to low pressure there in the center because it's actually moving air out of the way and moving it uh, vertically. So that's what a low pressure system is. So basically a bomb cyclone is a low pressure system where the center drops 24 millibars in 24 hours. Millibar is a unit of pressure that we use in meteorology. So this storm system from 7 p.m. Thursday night to 7 p.m. Uh, Friday night, this storm system had a pressure drop of 31 millibars. So it certainly was a bomb cyclone, a very strong cyclone indeed. Now the radar, honestly, uh, for the cyclone, you know, you would think that there would be a lot more precipitation. A lot of it is in Canada, but the lake effect snow machine going there in parts of, of Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, and then actually just uh, down there in Michigan as well, and then, uh, and then off of Lake Erie, poor Buffalo just getting hammered with snow. They have gotten so much snow this year, it's pretty incredible. And then also going off of Lake Erie, and also uh, we can actually zoom in here. We have some ocean effect snow coming off of Long Island, uh, off of uh, the ocean right off of Long Island, actually bringing snow to parts of uh, Rhode Island, uh, uh, Long Island, New York, and then also into parts of Massachusetts. Pretty impressive to see that actually. And then of course the lake effect snow, I mean nearly a stationary band of heavy lake effect snow going through uh, parts of Buffalo and then Niagara Falls and then still dealing with all of that lake effect off of Lake Michigan and also off of Lake Superior. And then a pretty strong storm system coming on shore here in the western United States. Uh, Seattle and uh, dealing with mostly rain. A little bit of, of an icing event going on in Portland and then some mountain rain and snow but some heavy rain going on down there. And uh, then as far as precipitation goes, everywhere else is pretty uh, down there. And that's actually some pink showing up there uh, in central Florida. Pretty incredible. That's where the cold front ended up all the way down there. So. Uh, lots to talk about, lots of uh, weather watches and warnings, wind chill watches and warnings out there. That's because these temperatures are still chilly. It's three degrees here in Youngstown, below zero in parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas, and then some teens elsewhere. There were single digits all the way down to parts of central Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. And then zooming in once again on these winds, and this is what's really causing a big issue. Really the biggest issue of this storm has been the cold and the wind blowing any snow around that there is, 31 miles per hour in Champaign, 26 in Indianapolis, 26 in Youngstown. These are sustained wind speeds, by the way. So we're gusting over this 31 uh, miles per hour in Detroit and Buffalo. So wind chill still routinely 
uh, in, in the negative teens and even here in Youngstown still minus 22 out there. So another thing the storm system did was bring some snow cover, uh, some a little bit more snow cover to parts of the United States. Got a couple of inches uh, further south into even parts of Tennessee and Kentucky and a little bit more into Ohio, obviously bringing lots of lake effect. The Dakotas have a ton of snow, so do uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin, and then obviously there's a lot of mountain snow out there as well. So a lot of people are going to see a white Christmas out of this event. It's actually my first white Christmas of all time uh, for me living here in Youngstown, uh, Ohio. I was from Tennessee. We never really got that. So seven-day rain outlook. This is uh, valid for uh, New Year's Eve, actually, in a week from now. Notice there's going to be a lot of rain uh, that comes on shore here um, along the mountains. Uh, so uh, more precipitation there in the west, a little bit in the southwest, and then some showing up in parts of the southeast and midwest. The snow outlook, more snow coming uh, to the mountain west. Lots of snow actually here. This is seven days of valid New Year's Eve. Lots of snow for the mountain west. Once again, a little bit of snow for parts of the Great Plains and into the Great Lakes region. And then, of course, uh, there's still more snow to go here off, off of the lakes, um, uh, thanks to a lot of precipitation uh, coming off of there. So we can look at the future tracker here as we go into Christmas Day. Uh, that uh, strong low pressure system there, uh, the, the bomb cyclone was continuing to sort of pull off to the north, still bringing lake effect though. This is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So it's still going to be cold uh, once again. A little bit of a clipper system, an Alberta clipper trying to come down here into the northern Great Plains and of course another really strong cyclone uh, bringing some rain to parts of the Mountain West. We can fast forward through Sunday, uh, through Christmas Day, watching uh, more snow, uh, just light snowfall coming, and even a little bit of rain uh, to parts of uh, parts of the Great Plains, and then also pushing into the Midwest. The storm system will try to push into the Great Lakes region on Monday. Not sure how much of a impact it's going to make. It'll probably bring some light snow showers. Um, but as we head towards uh, the end or sort of the middle of the week this high pressure system here is going to start to sink down into the southeast notice all of these southerly winds here this is Tuesday afternoon so we'll start to see some warmer temperatures actually come in uh, to the Great uh, Plains another big storm system that will finally make its way on shore to the western United States bringing lots of mountain rain and snow I showed you those uh, future maps there uh, a second ago now, as far as the temperatures go, we're going to keep this cold air mass locked in here in the eastern United States for at least the next couple of days. But something interesting will begin to happen as we head towards the middle and the end of the work week. Actually going to see some above average temperatures return to the eastern United States. It's crazy here in Youngstown. High temperatures will be approaching 50 degrees by the end of the work week, uh, which is almost a 50 degree temperature swing from what we've been seeing. And then we're going to see, unfortunately, with that storm system coming on shore there in the Western United States, colder, uh, probably colder uh, temperatures due to that trough that's showing up in the Western United States. Well, there was a lot to talk about today, and uh, I hope I covered everything adequately. A huge storm system, very impactful storm system affecting the United States, and uh, I hope everyone stays safe out there, stay warm, and have a fantastic Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Once again, I'm meteorologist Adam Clayton.